The Christmas Bunny This was the longest day in the world, the day before Christmas. Davy could not wait for bedtime to come. Upstairs, downstairs, back and forth he buzzed, until his mother smiled and said, Put your boots on, Davy, and go for a walk in the snow. Do you get to go for walks in the snow by yourselves? On with boots, muffler, coat, mittens, but wait. First, nuts in one pocket for the squirrels and seed in another pocket for the birds. And for Davy's favorites, the rabbits, a great fistful of salad leaves. Crunch, crunch in the dry snow went Davy's boots. At the brook where the animals came to drink, he spread out his presents for the birds and the squirrels and the rabbits. Davy was just about to turn back when he saw a trail in the snow. Maybe it's a rabbit, he thought, and followed the trail deeper and deeper into the wood. At the end of the trail was a fox, the first Davy had ever seen so close. Davy stared at the fox with open mouth. Stop gaping at me like a booby, the fox said. Get me out of this stupid trap. You can talk, said Davy with his mouth opened wider. Of course I can talk, the fox said. It's Christmas Eve, isn't it? Do animals usually talk on Christmas Eve? Slowly, so as not to tear its smooth red coat, Davy pried the fox loose. Well, said the fox, it's about time. Come along or we'll be late for the party. The fox lopped ahead and the show, to show the way and then came bounding back when Davy fell too far behind. Hurry up, Slowpoke. He kept shouting back to Davy. Davy was out of breath when they reached the clearing. The birds, the deer, and the squirrels were already there. The bears were just arriving. Who do you think Davy's looking for? Every minute more animals came. They greeted Davy in a friendly way when the fox introduced him. Davy was glad when the rabbits came. He liked their shy ways, their soft fur, and the, their twitching noses. Most of the animals were there, even the owl and the mole, still looking a little sleepy. Everyone was jolly, but Davy could see they were waiting. What do you think they're waiting for? Then Davy saw what they were waiting for. It was Santa Claus, his sleigh loaded with presents. The animals all cheered. I wonder what animals could be getting for Christmas. The animals lined up to get their presents. The field mouse was first. He got a ball of wool for his nest, for her nest. The great bear came last. He got a big comb of honey. Santa Claus spied, da spied Davy. Hello, Davy, he said. You're early. Your turn will come tomorrow. Hello, Santa, said Davy. I know, but can I have a little bunny for a pet? Ho oh, there, Mr. Rabbit, called, Santa called out. Here's a boy who wants one of your young ones for a pet. Grandfather Rabbit called to his bunnies together. Any one of you youngsters like to live with Davy, he asked. Take me, piped a little brown bunny, and hopped forward. The little brown bunny leaped into Davy's arms and said, Hello. Davy hugged him. You and I will always be friends, won't we? Said Davy. Friends to the end, the bunny said. After the animals had eaten, they began to play games. The first was a game of hide-and-go-seek, the way the animals play it. The red squirrel was it. All of the other animals covered their eyes and counted to 50. The red squirrel scooted off and hid in a hollow tree. The animals looked and sniffed everywhere. They could find neither hide nor hair of the squirrel. At last, they gave up and called the squirrel to come out. There was no answer. The squirrel had eaten so much he had fallen fast asleep. Curled up inside the hollow tree, he did not hear a sound. The animals had races next. There were races, running races and flying races, and low hurdles and high hurdles. Santa Claus gave prizes to the winners. It was growing dark. 
Time for you to start home, Davy, said Santa. Who'll give Santa, who'll give Davy a ride home? Climb on my back, Davy, not climb on my back, Davy, said the deer. Davy climbed on the deer's back, got a hold good of the antlers, and off they went like the wind. Davy would never forget the wonderful ride through the dark woods. The deer took great leaps, but Davy held on tight. Then the deer could, took the greatest le leap of all, and Davy woke up safe in his own bed. Did all of it happen, or was it a dream, he wondered. And then he remembered what day it was and jumped out of bed. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, he shouted as he ran down the stairs. The Christmas tree was bright with lights, and Davy could see there were presents under the tree. He ran to the tree, and there waiting for him. What do you think's waiting for him? Was his rabbit. Hello, bunny, said Davy, and held out his arms. The little brown bunny did not answer, but Davy knew that he understood by the way he snuggled up close. Do you think the bunny was real? Or Davy was dreaming. <laughs>